Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing the proof for I to the I. This is supposed to be for further maths, A levels. And <clears throat> yeah, I actually thought I was the first person to uncover that I to the I is a real number, but no, it turns out it's been known for a long time. But anyway, I'll be proving it. By the way, please do subscribe. So this is how we know I to the I is a real number. Well, first of all, we just have to look at the definition. I is just equal to the square root of negative 1, right? But, since we know that, we can just use e to the power of pi i plus 1 is equal to 0. Thus, e to the power of pi i is equal to negative 1. And since i is just the square root of negative 1 if we square root both sides then that will bring us closer so we now have e to the power of one half pi i since the square root is also to the power of one half so now we have pi over 2i is equal to i and we just raise both to the i and if you remember i to the i sorry uh I, I times i since we're raising both to the i so we multiply indices is just negative one why because the square roots cancel out so we just get negative one that's the same as square root to negative one squared which is just negative one so now we have e to the power of pi over two negative is equal to i to the i and that's a real number and I just checked the e to the power of negative pi to over 2 is 0 0.02160695913 uh, going on forever. That's It's also a transcendental number. You might be asking how we can find out this is transcendental. Well, we use Gelf and uh, Schneider's theorem. So if you, might, you also might be asking what is a transcendental number. It's really anything that's uh, anything that's not the square root of a. It's irrational numbers that aren't the square root of anything. A uh, polynomial, for example, square root of five. E and pi are transcendental. So since we know e to the power of negative pi over two is uh, just i to the i, then we can use his theorem. His theorem states that if we have this, if we have a and b. And such that a is not equal to zero or one, and b is a real number. Subtract uh, integers, which means it's sorry. Subtract rational numbers, which means it's irrational. Then a to the b is uh, a to the b is transcendental, and well, i is not equal to zero or one. And sorry, the the recording cut in the middle, but. We know i is not equal to 0, 1, and we know that i is irrational because any complex number is irrational. So i to the i, a to the b, is transcendental. It's transcendental. Anyway, here's another way we can prove i to the i is a real number. So, we can always write a complex number in its, um, in its exponential form, which is r, e, to the i theta so r is the magnitude and if we draw a graph this is complex this is real then i would just be here which is up one magnitude one so we just have e to the i theta and what's the angle slash argument it's 90 degrees because it just goes up by nine uh, it's just 90 degrees if i had actually drawn this axis straight 90 degrees so also, 90 degrees is pi over 2, right, as in radians. So we get e to the power of pi over 2 i is equal to i. And put both to the power of i, we get e to the power of negative pi over 2. Because if you remember, i to the uh, i to the i multiplied by i is just um, negative 1. So this is our answer. So, let's begin. 
the um the general formula for complex powers is z to the w is equal to e to the w uh, multiplied by natural logarithm z and if you remember the natural logarithm of any complex number is formally defined as natural logarithm of z plus the argument slash angle of z actually wait it's i times that yep so let's begin with this so we know that z is just i right and z is the uh, magnitude of i thus um natural logarithm of one is just zero plus i multiplied by the argument of z which is 90 degrees slash pi over two anyway with this actually wait no, it's pi over two plus two pi k And now we know that this is just i pi over 2 plus 2 pi k. Now, that was quite a few steps just for natural logarithm. Obviously, there are many easier methods, but I just want to be fully covered. In this instance, k isn't specified, so we can just, we don't need to worry about that since k is 0, so 2 pi times 0 is just 0. So now we have i multiplied by pi to the negative 2. And since W is just I, we can leave like that. So now we have Z to the W, which is I to the I. I'll just keep it as Z to the W. is equal to E to the I multiplied by I multiplied. No, sorry. I multiplied by pi over 2. And obviously that is equal to e to the negative pi over 2. So we got the same result as in both our other methods. Thank you, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you really enjoyed. And I hope you learned a lot about different methods for proving i to the i is a real number. And that i to the i is transcendental. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, if anyone really has any suggestions, A-level, GCSD, university, please do put it in the comments, because uh, I probably can do it, unless it's a really a uh, topic which just generally wouldn't be able, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to explain in a, in a time frame that would be good enough for me to post, since I don't want to be posting three hour long videos. Thank you very much, please do subscribe.